Hi, we're here with Tic-Tac-Toe Tutor. It's a game that both lets you play competitively and instructionally. What's cool with our code is that we've used SNAP online at snap.berkeley.edu forward slash run. It enabled us to access Professor Garcia's database of 17,000 possible combinations of moves through an internet query after each and every move. We parse that data and use it to decide the computer's best move in our competitive version and all possible moves represented by color-coded ranking in the corrective version. So let's try the competitive. You can hit one, two, or three for novice, intermediate, or expert. And let's win selecting novice. What the computer does is it queries the database, parses it, and puts it into win, tie, or lose lists. And as you can see, the computer's made a wrong move. It's looked in the lose list. So we're able to win a novice. In intermediate, it goes for a tie. And in competitive expert, it goes for the win move. Very difficult to beat perfect answers. In correctional, you can see, as soon as we make a wrong move, the computer will show us what is the right move to make and give us an opportunity to correct. Yellow was a tie move, red is lose, and if there was a possible green winning option for us, it would be green. Three of the main highlights of our code. The first off, you have the sensing block here, HTTP, used under the set database check, reads in our board, currently stored in board values, to Professor Garcia's database and reads out all of the possible moves resulting from it. Now in order to search through all this data we created a win time moves parse each search for their own respective move. Now after looking at it for a bit we decided that index jumps here would be the quickest way to parse through it. Now after we parse through it we realized that the moves we were reading out were in the format of a through three, well, A1 through A3, B1 through B3, C1 through C3, whereas our board was organized on a 1 through 9 format. So in order to actually use the values we were reading out, we needed a conversion. Here you have that conversion. It gets a bit involved at points, particularly B here. You have two recursive blocks used in it to actually correctly convert it to a 1 through 9 sequence. You have the positive power block here, and also the Fibonacci sequence here. Both, once used, can correctly convert it to the respective value matching our sprites. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the game Tic-Tac-Toe, and think our project is cool too. Now to give a shout out to Snap, one great benefit of the project is, we've learned save time is killer. It's as easy as that. When you want to export your project, it saves as an XML file in just a matter of seconds. This enabled us to spend quite a bit more time substantially on our code